Hey everyone, back here. Life is actually not easy. In the last episode, I shared about my story about how I discovered I got depressed and walked out from it. If you're unsure about what is depression, you can feel free to click back. Today, I would like to talk about what I actually did to really help me walk out from depressions and fight for a happier life so that it can help you to live happier as well. First of all, mindset. The society is not really tolerant towards depression and it still lacks a kind of awareness about what depression is. Some people still think this is not a disease, this is just laziness or lack of determination. That's wrong, just like obesity. The society needs some time to adjust. But first of all, we need to adjust this kind of mindset. We need to hug ourselves and tell us that, okay, I do know you are not easy this period and depression is something like a disease that will actually change our brain's structure in terms of the physical level. Therefore, you need indeed to see a doctor and he or she will help you diagnose what kind of medicine you need to use. So now for helping you to digest, so now for helping you to sleep, so now for helping you to control your moods. This is something normal, accept ourselves and also face it directly. You are still brave, you are still fantastic. You need some rest and after the rest, you will feel the beauty of the world again. You will be ready to strive for your best. Second thing, solve the financial problems. According to research, a majority of people got depressed because of the lasting poverty or difficulties in terms of the financial status. If we are lack of money, it's really hard for us because when you are depressed, actually from your physical level, you don't want to work, you are unmotivated. But if you don't work, you don't have money. But if you work, your depression or nostalgia may last. Luckily, for many countries, especially for areas in terms of the welfare, developed areas, you can apply for social welfare to help you get financial support during this period. For example, in Japan, if you are diagnosed or in a condition that you are unsuitable to work anymore, the doctor can write a certificate for you with which you can actually go back to the company and quit the job. The good thing about this is if you don't have this certificate, you may need to tell the company that you are going. Uh, you may need to wait for one month until the new people come. And actually, you don't really get much uh, social welfare during this period. But with this certificate, you can I'll go back to the company and quit within seven days. And after seven days, the government will begin to send you around 5,500 Japanese yen per day. And this insurance could last from three months to 2.2 years. This is enough for covering the basic expense when living in Japan. So you can ask for the local welfare department in your area to see if you are eligible to apply for this part. But one thing to notice that in Japan, usually it takes around one month to three months to diagnose. Uh, so make sure that you make an appointment with the doctor in advance. Let's talk about financial again. Also, ask for your family's help or friend's help. I do understand that uh, many family, many parents could not understand this kind of uh, feeling or this kind of disease. They still think, of the, uh, oh, my child, you're lazy. Why aren't you determined? For most of the time, if we tell them our feelings, if we really tell them what we experienced, they will show their understanding and try to support us in the most, even financially. So our family, our friends are always there to support us. Don't be ashamed to ask. They love you. They would like to support you just like in your heart you always love them. Also, from this type of experience, we actually need to strengthen our awareness of financial uh, savings, etc. It's only when we are in trouble that we realize that, oh, oh, how long can we survive in terms of our savings? So actually, from my past experience about this, I further developed my financial awareness that I need to save money during my daily life. I need to have enough savings. I need to build more passive income. But to some extent, this is a very good lesson. Depression or life really teach me. Third, read a lot of books. Actually, I'm a research type of personalities. I love readings. But for some reason, especially during the busy work, I didn't have enough time to read even a book. I understand that was an excuse. But indeed, after the depression, I actually tried to read a lot of books. I have a question in my mind. Why I feel like this? How I develop into such uh, situations? So I read a lot of books, especially in terms of intimate relationships, uh, psychology, 
also about、um, the philosophy books.、Uh, I do think that's absolute ideas. I know as always that in the books there are many wisdom. I open these books, I realize that I'm almost like talking with a very wise man. I find it very hard to really talk with wise men in the real life, but in the books I can see their ideologies all written here. So. It's almost like picking the treasure. I feel a kind of tranquility in my mind. Also, this really enriched my heart, my mind, to help me feel more peaceful and insightful. Fourth, I did a lot of sports. When doing sports, our body actually get tortured, and it will generate dopamine for us to feel happy. That's why some people may get addicted after they. Do the heavy lifting, or after their gym, etc. I do think this helps during my recovery journey. But for example, I actually like to run. I like to do the gyms. Also, I like、uh, dancing, especially dancing.、Uh, this is your interest. You can replace it with any else of your interest in terms of the physical sports, like badminton, like swimming, etc. Each time after this kind of social event, after sports. I feel my body more energetic and doing something that I like. So try some sports, even though you feel that you don't want to move or feel that your body is really fatigued. If I realize that I feel fatigued because I don't want to move, I will actually try to move. But if I realize I feel fatigued because my body is fatigued, I will not move. I will just early sleep. Fifth, rethink about our life philosophy towards happiness. Before the depression, I actually always think about I should be a leader. I should be a CEO. I should be a、uh, <laughs> A, a life winner, having a lot of money in the future. But during this period, I really will think about what I really want, what I'm doing, and what I plan to do. I try to align that, and I'm further determined that what I want is happiness. I want tranquility in my mind, also happiness. I no longer want to chase those jobs that are only for some money or very stressful. I can accept. Less money, as long as it makes me feel peaceful, and I value more time together with my friends <laughs> and family. I care more about my health because I understand that now I choose happiness. But adjusting the life attitude can really make us into another level, and I think this is a very beneficial lesson that <laughs> I learned from the life. If you feel unhappy, you may get depressed, and being depressed is not something that means you are lazy or you are undetermined, but Maybe you are under a condition that is not good for your health, or you are being、uh, involved into the politics, conflicts, or struggles, or mind manipulation. Take a step back. Think about why we are living. We gonna have a good life. What kind of life we will live? And people are really willing to fight for what they want and escape from what they don't want. After a period, you will feel motivated again. You will feel the beauty of the world. You will understand yourself and people around you better. You will know more insights towards the world. You are still outstanding. You are still adorable. This is just a small step in our life, and you will be someone different and may contribute to the world. And change the future. Okay, what is your way to fight against depressions, and what you discovered after this? Feel free to comment below. This is Vex. See you next.